Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on my episode 3 runway of Canada's Drag Race season 3. Category is sleeves. So watch me go from this to this. I'm going to start off first by blocking my brows. So I'm going to use a glue stick and I'm going to start covering my brows with the glue. I'm going to go against the direction that my hairs are growing so that I can fully coat my hair with the glue. And I have really thick brows, so I need to go in with like a few layers of glue. I have all those hairs covered. Now I'm going to take a spoolie and I'm just going to brush those hairs out and make sure they're flat. So I'm gonna start from the bottom of the brows and brush upwards. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna flatten the brows. Now to speed up the drying process, I'm gonna use a blow dryer on a cool setting and I'm going to blow dry my brows. Now that the brows are dry, I'm going to take some setting powder and I'm going to use a powder puff and press that powder into the brows. I want to make sure to cover the brows completely and fill in all those holes. Make sure to brush off any excess powder before going in with the next layer so it doesn't all clump together. This is going to take a few layers of glue to fully smooth my brow block, but that's just because I have um, very thick brows, so use as many layers as you need until your brows are completely covered. Everyone's different. So now that my brows are completely covered, I'm going to go in with my foundation. So for today's look, I am doing clown makeup, but very high fashion, glamorous clown. So I'm gonna go in with my base with a white foundation, a white full coverage foundation. Before I start off with my base, I'm going to moisturize my face. And because I'm doing white foundation, I'm not going to go in with a color corrector. Um, I find that whenever I use a color corrector for white foundation, you can always see the orange coming through. So I'm just going to use a very full coverage foundation. I'm going to go in with multiple layers. I'm only going to apply this foundation on my face. I'm not going to go down my neck or anything because that's kind of how clowns do their makeup. They're just like like a mask on their face. And I'm gonna use this foundation and completely cover my face. So my brows, I'm gonna put a bit on my lids too, just to use that as a base for my eyeshadow. Now using a dense foundation brush, I'm gonna put some product on the brush and I'm just gonna blend out all of this white makeup. Now I'm going to go in with a pink cream blush. I'm going to apply that on my cheeks and I'm going to bring the blush all the way up to my temples. And then using a sponge, I'm just going to blend out that pink blush. I'm going to concentrate most of the product on my cheeks and then using whatever is remaining on the sponge, I'm going to blend that upwards. Now I'm going to set my face using a white translucent powder. Now I'm going to brush off any excess powder. This week's runway theme was sleeves. And I thought, why not pay homage to my dear girl, Miss Eve 6000, who had a trick up her sleeve and bring Miss Rebeliana back to life. But this time, this is the upgraded version of Rebeliana because we also have that turned out the first time. I'm going to go in with a white eyeshadow and I'm going to just add more coverage to the face. So my runway this week was actually designed by Eve and it was made by Lucinda Mew. I wanted to show the judges a more campy side of myself. I want to give them versatility, not just be pretty on the runway every single week. Now I'm going to go in with a pink powder blush. So for this week's maxi challenge, we were allowed to pick our pairs and we had to put together our own lip syncs to RuPaul's song. Vivian Vanderpuss won the mini challenge, so she was allowed to assign the songs. And as soon as Vivian got announced, I like started whispering to her, please give me peanut butter. She didn't really like respond to me. 
She was like, <laughs> and then when we were sitting down, I also told Giselle, her partner, I was like, can you please like ask Vivian to get this peanut butter? And she's like, yeah, I got you, don't worry. I was really looking forward to this challenge because I love performing. I'm great at performing. I was like, I think I can do really well in this challenge. I just did not want Let The Music Play. Like nobody wanted that song. Nobody wanted the slow song. Everybody wanted a high energy bop. And when we were sitting down, just like telling Vivian the songs that we wanted, Jada also said she wanted peanut butter. But her partner, or McGurk, did not want peanut butter. Now I'm gonna go in with a deeper blush. This one's like a little bit more purple. I'm gonna contour my cheekbones with it. Yeah, nobody was asking for this other song. And then Vivian is like, okay, here's how the pairings are gonna go. I'm gonna give peanut butter to Jada, saw that coming, and then she gives the other song that we asked for to Lady Boo Boo and Kimmy, who did not ask for the song. So I was like, Vivian, are you kidding me? Like, that felt like sabotage to me. And you know what, this is a competition. Um, like, I fully get it if you're gonna play the game and you know, sabotage people, but like, I at least have the balls to own up to it. And you know, I might have thrown a little bit of a tantrum, but I was very upset because I wanted to do well in this challenge and I felt like Vivian was coming for me. And I didn't know why, because like, I had been getting along with well with Vivian in this competition. I really liked her and respected her. And I just got very stressed out. Like, it's a very stressful environment being there, you know. I want to do well in the competition, I don't want to get sent home, and things were not going my way, so I might have thrown a little bit of a tantrum. But I still love Vivian, I still respect her, where she's my girl. I ended up apologizing to her because I didn't want to have like bad blood with anybody in the room. And then because I was so like upset that things weren't going my way, um, and I didn't focus on the challenge. I should have just put that energy into the challenge and did my best to kill this slow song. But, you know, I let my emotions get the best of me. And unfortunately, I was in the bottom this week. I did kill that lip sync though. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the eyes. I'm gonna do a purple cut crease. So I'm gonna use a pink shade first as a transition shade to help blend that purple out. This is a very exaggerated clown look, so I wanna make my eyes look very big. So I'm going to make my crease higher than it actually is, and I'm going to blend that pink upwards and upwards. Yeah, this week I sat Shella's on home, and I was like kind of upset about it because it was just starting to hit me that like this is a competition. You know, like we're all here having fun, but at the end of the day, it's a competition, and someone's gonna go home every week, and. The first few weeks, like, I was kind of butting heads with Shell was on a bit, but at this point, I was actually starting to, like, like her more, and we were getting along better, and when I sent her home, and I felt really bad, because I knew how much this competition meant to her, and had a lot to show in this competition. Like, she, one thing I respect about her is that she is so well-spoken for how young she is, and she takes a lot of pride in her culture, and she showed that in all of her runways. And at first when I met her, I didn't understand the cultural references. I just saw like her outfits and they looked kind of simple to me. But you know, once I started understanding like the meaning behind them and the background, um, I respect them a bit more. Still think she could have elevated her looks a little bit, but I do appreciate the meaning behind them. Okay, now I'm going to take a purple eyeshadow and I'm going to blend that shadow lower than where I blended the pink. I want to create a gradient of the purple eyeshadow blending upwards nicely into the pink eyeshadow and still be able to see those two colors. Alright, so now I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to use a flat brush. I'm going to use that same white foundation. I want to make my eyes look very large for this look. It's a very exaggerated clown look, so I'm gonna cut my crease a lot higher than where it actually is. Now that I've cut my crease, I'm going to take a little eyeshadow brush and a white shimmery, almost like silver eyeshadow, and I'm going to set that crease. 
I'm gonna use a purple eyeshadow and a flat brush and I'm going to fill in my under eyes. Now before I go in with eyeliner, I'm going to cover my lids with glitter. I'm gonna take my lash glue and I'm gonna apply it all over my lids. So using a little flat brush, I'm going to take my glitter and apply it everywhere that I just apply the glue after letting it get tacky for a little bit. Now using a white eyeliner, I'm going to extend my inner corners, fill in my waterline, and extend the open corners of my eye. I'm gonna go back in now and finish the rest of the face. So I'm gonna use a bit of a cooler toned pink eyeshadow, and I'm gonna use that to contour my nose. I'm gonna highlight now using a silver eyeshadow. Put on a big fluffy brush and apply that to the high points of my cheeks. I'm gonna take a little small eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take that silver eyeshadow and highlight the bridge of my nose. I'm going to create a little exclamation point to create a button nose effect. Now I'm going to finish off the eyes by completing my eyeliner. I'm going to do a bit of a more exaggerated liner since my eyes are so big today. For my lips today, I'm going to do a very exaggerated large red lip to go with the full clown fantasy. So I'm going to take my angled brush and I'm going to take my red lipstick and I'm really going to overline and exaggerate my lips. I'm going to start off by extending the inner corners, then I'm going to trace my new lip line. And now that I've traced out my new lip shape, I'm going to fill in my lip. Now I'm going to go over my lips with a gorgeous gloss. Now I'm going to apply my lashes. I'm going to use these very large spiky lashes that I actually made myself. They're very simple. All you have to do is take like a regular base lash and then take some 301s, cut them up, and then glue them onto the lashes if you want to make your own. So I'll take that lash glue, apply it to the band. While my lashes are drying, I'm going to apply my mascara onto my eyes just to help blend the lashes into the false lashes. And here you have the completed makeup. I'll be back in just a moment with the full look. Thank you guys for tuning into this week's video. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial for my sleeves runway. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this week's episode. And make sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay fierce.